Hi, welcome to my messing, messy living room. We've got like five or six gaming systems in here. Let's see, we've got PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Wii U, and we have the original Xbox because my husband wanted that one. I don't know. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing the Goodreads tag, and I've seen a lot of different variations of this floating around, so I sort of just uh, made my own on my phone because that's fun. Um, so if you don't know what Goodreads is, is it is a website where if you love books, you should be on there. Um, it's pretty much like a Facebook for book lovers in a way. Um, you can add books that you want to read to like your to read bookshelf, what you're reading, um, what you have read. You can connect with people, see what they're reading. You can see reviews on books. Um, which is really nice, especially when I'm like at a bookstore, I will like pull up the app and I will be like, all right, so what are people saying? Do they like this book? And that way I can kind of see if I want to buy it, you know? Um, let's just start, yeah? The first question is the last book you marked as read. It's a lover's dictionary. It is like 211 pages and it is a story, it's a love story between these two people, but it's all told in the way of a, it's in a dictionary. So like you have different, okay. This, so you've got words at the top, which are like the words, and then you've got this, like a, not a definition, but like a story about their love life that has to correspond with their, with the word on top. Does that make sense? Okay, so like, we're in the W, so the word is woo, and it says, I told you that it was ridiculous to pay $30 for a dozen roses on Valentine's Day. I forbade you to do it. So that day, I went to pay for lunch, and what did I find? In my wallet, 30 singles, each with roses printed on it. I imagine you feeding them through your color printer. Oh, the smile that you must have had across your face. I had to ask the woman behind the counter to take a quick picture of my own smile to send it right back to you. Just a really great book. I enjoyed it. Um, let's see, what am I currently reading? Attachments by Robin Rao. So far, it's a really great book. Like on the back right here, it says, hi, I'm the guy who reads your email. And also, I love you. Um, I'm not very far in it at all. Actually, my bookmark is missing. So now I gotta find out where I am in this and that's kind of annoying. But it's really good so far. So, yeah, that one. Last book marked as to be read. Um, Brunette Ambition by uh, Leah Michelle. I'm a Gleek, huge fan. I, I really do enjoy Leah Michelle. I think she's a great singer. Um, but this book is kind of like her life, like on Broadway, on Glee, um, how she dealt with the loss of Corey, and I'm just excited. What book do you plan on reading next? And this is actually another John Green book because I'm obsessed. Um, it's called Will Grayson, Will Grayson. And it's by um, John Green and actually David Leviathan, the guy who wrote Lover's Dictionary. And the description is, on a cold night in a most unlikely corner of Chicago, two teens, both named Will Grayson, are about to cross paths. As their worlds collide and intertwine, the Will Graysons find their lives going in new and un unexpected directions, building toward romantic turns of heart and the epic production of the history's most fabulous high school musical. I'm excited because I like John Green's writing a lot and Lover's Dictionary was just great. So I'm super excited about this book. Let's see what's next. Favorite quote. Um, favorite quote would come from, I took the cover off this book, but would come from The Fault in Our Stars, and that is, I fell in love the way you fall asleep, slowly and then all at once. Can we just, yes. I loved The Fault in Our Stars. I can't wait to see the movie. But it is a great quote. Uh, my other favorite of all time quote is actually from a Shakespeare play, Much Ado About Nothing. Um, and it's, I love you with, I love you so much that there is, I love you with all my heart that there is none left to protest, I believe is the quote. 
but it it's just it's beautiful it's such a great play um if you've never read it you should read it it's funny and cute and um joss whedon actually has a movie of it like did a production of it um all filmed at his house um it's actually on netflix now so check that out much ado about nothing joss whedon it's just funny and their love story and it's just good um favorite authors my favorite authors would be John Green and Robin Rowell. They're just, they both have a really great way of making you feel things. Um, if you've read The Fault in Our Stars, you know that. <laughs> um, but Robin Rowell is just so great. Let's see, what book started out slow but picked up? Maze Runner series. I don't know if you've ever read that series. One of the hardest series that I've had to get into. The first book the lingo was weird and so it like took me a while to like finally sit down and read it. I think it took me a month to get past like three chapters but then once I did it picked up and I it's my second favorite book series of all time. Just really a great series. You must read it before the movie comes out. I what book series do you read for a pick-me-up? Um mm. Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. Yes, Bossy Pants. Tina Fey is hilarious. This is such a great book. It made me laugh out loud multiple times and made me feel so powerful and want, it made me want to like conquer the world. It was great. Um, let's see. And the last one, favorite book of the year so far, Eleanor and Park. Just read it. Just read it. So this was my version of the Goodreads tag. Um, I'll leave the questions down below if you would like to do this tag. I think it's fun because I love books. You need to get on Goodreads and because it's fun, right? I don't know. I'm going to go eat ice cream because ice cream is good for you. Except for when you're lactose intolerant. I'll just take some medicine. So stay nerdy and read books, right?